Hi Libra, how are you guys doing? This is going to be a guided message for all Libras. You could have Libra in your chart. You could be dealing with a Libra. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. We have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or you have a fire in your chart. It could be your moon, your rising, your sun, or your Venus. We have equal exchange. So some of you are focusing on um, making things equal, which usually Libras are. Let's be real. So uh, the bottom of the deck, we have fear, jealousy, and worry. Some of you could be um, worried about somebody, something or somebody. I was going to say something, but then somebody slipped out. So you could be worried about somebody. Um, this could also be someone else's energy around you that you're involved with. So they could be uh, concerned or worried about you. And then I just got this deck, so let's see what the messages are for my Libras. <clears throat> okay. Overall energy we have, I'm not willing to leave the other person that I'm involved with. So that could be this fire sign that you're thinking of that's showing up here. Um, if you're involved or talking to a fire sign, this could be how they feel. They are too scared to leave the other person. So now you know if you were wondering or interested in knowing. Um, they feel like they have to sugarcoat the truth with lies. They don't want to make you upset. So somebody here feels like they got to walk on eggshells. If this is not the other person, it could also be how you feel towards them. Someone secretly has a side dude. And if you're a Libra female watching this, it could be another guy that has a guy. This is getting messy. Okay, that's definitely not for everybody, but that's just a side message for somebody. Look, I just got this deck. I don't even know what kind of cards are in it, so I, I'm just finding out myself. <laughs> This is the first time I've used it. Alright, this card says, I'm so aggravated that my mind games aren't getting to you anymore. So somebody is trying to play you and they see it's not working. And they're getting really upset about this. Alright. So this next deck that I'm going to be using is like, um... It talks about time, the timing of things which I don't normally believe in because I think that the time can change, but we'll just see what it has to say. So if you have a question about uh, the timing of when something is going to happen or you're wondering about so when something is going to happen, it could be a job for you, it could be a career, um, a opportunity, a relationship, a, uh, a phone call, a text, you know, you're wondering when is it going to happen, we're going to see right now what the cards say. So take this with a grain of salt, could or could not happen. This is for entertainment purposes only, right? Let's see. When is this going to happen for these Libras? That's uh, whatever they're thinking of, they have on their minds. Okay, we have it's not manifesting, try again. Some of you need to be more clear about what you want. Maybe you've been going back and forth in your mind and you're indecisive. So it's not manifesting. So you're going to have to get try again or get more clear about what you want. Okay? The other card we have is in a couple of years. That's a long time. But Libras, you guys have patience. I know you do. More so than other signs. You're willing to wait for things that you really want. So the overall energy is miracles will happen. So you guys really need to stay positive. Believe. Believe. In yourself believe in your dreams believe in your desires you have them for a reason uh, follow that intuition it'll guide you everywhere you need to go let's see what the tarot messages are this is for Libra please spirit guides this is for Libra for Libras what are the messages First card out we have is the lovers, okay? It came out like this, though, sideways. Well, the message that I'm getting from that is, you, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, but um, 
some of you have multiple options as well in love, but there's somebody here who you're uncertain about, okay? So there's this feeling of uncertainty in regards to a connection or a relationship. Uh, let's see, we gotta get more cards though to find out why, what this is about. Or why you're uncertain, I guess. Let's see what else comes out. Sorry, one second. Okay, so there's somebody who you're unsure about. It could be a Gemini. Let's see what else comes out. It's kind of interesting, yeah, to see? Well, it's always interesting to see. Okay. All right. So, three of coins. Either this person you feel like has doesn't put enough effort into it, like like how you do. They don't put the same in effort in, they're not matching your energy. Or uh, this could be vice versa. So you are not putting enough energy into this. Or another message I'm getting since this is three of coins is you're having to like pay for everything. Three of coins, you're having to pay for everything. Or they feel this way about you. You, you have. Yeah. So queen of staffs. This could be a fire sign again. Fire sign. Look at this. This is the second time we're getting fire sign energy. Some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And some of you have it in your chart. Okay. So this queen, she's like ambitious. She goes after what she wants. She knows what she wants, and she's alluring, she's magnetic, she's attractive, she's popular, okay? So this could be like, if it's not you, someone who you're interested in is like this, embodies this energy. Um, there could be a hint of like selfish energy I'm picking up on here. So maybe you feel like they just are more self-involved, they care more about themselves, or that they want like attention from other people, you feel like? And you're kind of like more wanting to focus on the connection and connect with them. And they're just more like, oh, look at me, kind of, you know. And this person also might, might make you feel like you're single. We have the nine of coins here. So you're kind of like, what is the point even of us being together, being in a relationship? I feel like I'm by myself. And this has left you feeling disappointed or sad. We're crying over spilt milk with the Five of Cups here. So it's not really something to cry about, but you're crying. <laughs> Alright, we have the Emperor in reverse here. Could be dealing with the Aries. But this is also a message of like feeling out of control. You feel like the connection makes you feel out of control. It kind of makes you feel insecure within your own self or the relationship. <laughs> Uh, you could be dealing with a um, Virgo. We have the Hermit here, but I'm also getting the message that, um, oh, if you are, you could go watch their video as well. But this person makes you question yourself with the Virgo Hermit card. Okay, so this person makes you feel like you just want to stay home. You may even start questioning yourself, like, what did I do type of energy, like... You even think that you did something wrong sometimes, and I'm getting the feeling that that's not true. So you guys shouldn't be feeling so insecure. I'm getting the message that whatever this person is dealing with or going through, it has to do with themselves. So don't let it get to you. Don't take it personally. Queen of Cups, some of you are dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And we have the star card. So... Someone is in love here with the um, Queen of Cups energy that's holding space, holding a cup of love for somebody. And with the star card, they could be um, wishing for something or manifesting here. But I'm also getting the energy or the message that this person is healing. This person is healing emotionally. So they may have some wounds that prevent them from... Mm -hmm. 
They may have some wounds that prevent them from being more open emotionally, is what I'm getting. Okay, let's see. What else for my Libras? Oh, so this person wants to come forward and communicate with you. Or they're having some sort of realization or epiphany here. They're reaching some sort of clarity. And when they do, they're going to be able to be more open with you and communicate more. And um, with the Seven of Wands, I feel like you guys are placing um, a pretty firm boundary um, in regards to... Like your self-respect. I feel like you guys won't put up with the same BS that you used to. And, um, yeah, I don't think, I actually don't think you're going to be interested, actually. With the Seven of Wands, you're saying no. You're blocking this person. You could be blocking them on social media, too. Uh, blocking their phone number. Blocking them on IG. No. <laughs> okay. And you guys are wanting to check out other options because you're saying I have other options with the seven of cups here. So I don't think that this person brings you happiness with the seven of cups here. You're looking for your complete emotional fulfillment. You're at that level in your life where you are more ready to be emotionally like open and um, share that space with somebody. And um, it's beautiful, you know. And then we have the temperance. So some of you are definitely uh, dealing with a Sagittarius. Sorry, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. So uh, you feel completely healed emotionally with the temperance card and the ten of cups. Like, you feel very balanced, very comfortable, very in your emotions, um, in your love energy. You're very comfortable with yourself right now. Um and secure and um, stable in your love. Like, that's good, grounded in your emotions. You know how you feel, you know what you want. You're way different than this person um, in regards to that. But there's a part of you that's saying, well, maybe if it won't work out this time, it'll work out a another time and another, like, because this is divine timing, the temperance card. So some of you are a little bit saying that, but others of you are checking out other options. You're manifesting a new connection. Some of you might have already like met this new connection. But I do feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, the universe is backing your decision. You guys have fortune and luck on your side. Um, you could be dealing with a fixed sign, so Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio. But yeah. If not, it, it's looking pretty good for you guys, though. I think that this next coming year is going to be good for you guys. Um, you guys are slowly and steadily growing and moving forward at a good pace. So, anyways, that's the messages that I have for you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year and uh, blessings to you and your families out there and if you're interested in your personal reading my email is in the description box below and i'll see you next time bye